Tito, Entity on 212. Com check. DPS. Go. Inco. Go. PUS. Go. Surgeon. Go. Booster. Go. Copy that. We have a go from you guys. This is talking sound. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Talking Sound Podcast, the only podcast on the internet where negative 10 is a number to be desired, coming at you live from the throbbing heart of rock and roll that is Austin, Texas. Tonight on the podcast, we have the great and good Mr. Rusty Brown. Welcome to the show, Rusty. Hi, Chris. Well, man, it is an absolute pleasure to have you here. Rusty is actually one of the reasons that I actually have this space. He's a very good friend of the gentleman that was on the podcast a couple weeks ago, Nelson Kugel. They actually play together in a band called the Centers of Attention, and Rusty is a fantastic musician. He's also the manager here at Austin Music Rooms, uh, one of the most awesome lockout facilities in all of Austin. One of the only places that has 24 hour access for its people. Oh, so. shucks. Well, it's great, man. It really is. So tell <laughs> us a little bit about yourself here, Rusty. Well, uh, I've been in music town, Austin for about the last 15 years. Uh, before that, uh, lived in Colorado, uh, was a snow ski bum and I'm, I guess I'm still a snow ski bum. Well, I mean, granted, you get, you don't give yourself enough credit. You're a little <laughs> bit more than just a snow ski bum. Tell us, yeah. tell us a little bit more about that. Tell us a little bit more about the treasure that is Rusty Brown. Well, we just enjoyed, you know, living there for many years, and uh, but I'd always come to Austin and uh, off season mm -hmm. and uh, see my friends with bands, and uh, then uh, it kind of went bad up there one year, and we moved to Austin. Yeah, and. Uh, Decided I wanted to make uh, more of a life in music and uh, hooked up with some old friends and uh, they kind of took me under their wing and yeah. uh, showed me the ropes. and uh, Just kind of uh, got you plugged into the local scene. It, exactly. And uh, just uh, had to pay my dues and uh, like we all do. And, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. There's a lot of that. And uh I'm, I'm blessed and I'm very thankful to be here and uh, uh, I'm uh, lucky to have uh, my job and be able to play music all the time and uh, blessed to have my band the centers of attention and um, we're doing a little regrouping right now yeah uh, but that's the way it is and uh, everybody does and everybody everything. does and, you know and it's it's interesting to me because uh you're number one. I mean, you were a ski instructor, things like that. And, you know, um, the the switch of gears in your life to to taking to music uh, there. There's a lot that goes into that. And uh, what what made you want to take on music more full time, Rocky? Well, well, you know, it's uh, the same thing. Skiing, music, it's just a. Uh, you find something you like, yep, and uh, you get focused on it, and you try to step it up. And uh, I wanted to learn how to ski, so I moved to Colorado for about 14 years or so, and uh, I moved to Austin because I was married at one time, and we were, you know, trying to start a life here. But my idea was I wanted to play music, yeah, and uh, had a band. Uh, in the past called the locals yes and actually a, a band that was we had a good not time. only local but yeah. i mean y'all were to some acclaim yeah we did locally. okay and uh, i still see those guys and we're all in various bands together and, mm -hmm. uh, they're my musical brothers yeah and uh uh steve is uh still in the he's in the centers yeah uh lee was but he's uh going on to bigger and better things now and uh, we're uh, still plugging away in Austin, Texas, and uh, glad to be here, and uh, glad for you to have me. Uh, uh, just want to say hi to all my friends in Crusty Butte and Terrell, Texas, and uh, and Austin. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Now, <laughs> tell us. I personally love your music, Rusty. We were actually talking before the show. Uh, just like we always do every week whenever we see each other, you know, just kicking back, hanging out, talking music, everything. And we were we were mentioning a, a mutual respect for Rodney Crowell. 
And I was I was akinning you to him in the in the right that you're very much a storied song teller whenever whenever you're singing. It's it's <laughs> it's not necessarily that your songs uh, are all ballads or anything like that. Far from it. But they all literally tell a story while you're listening to them, and that's something that. I find at least is somewhat lacking in a lot of modern music. So the fact that you really still kindle that is is fantastic and very very original. Tell us a little about your influences musically. What well, brought you to that? You know, Chris, thank you so much. Uh, but uh, my big influence, of course, Jackson Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I like the way he writes songs, uh, plays songs. He's a storyteller too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rodney is. Uh, a local influence, yeah, uh, and uh, and there are some similarities with both those artists, uh, but uh, more than anything, uh, you know, I was I, I grew up in a, a time when there was a lot of music out there, yeah, and uh, I liked uh, the progressive country influence uh, that I always had, and uh, I guess Rodney kind of is up that alley. Sure, everything. sure. And uh, just kind of learned to write songs by watching my friends uh-huh. uh, in these various bands and uh, tried to emulate them. And uh, I uh, keep trying to and uh, keep working at it. And, uh, well, and I personally think that you do a great job. Pers- one, of the, one of the things that I think that you handle very well is actually promotion. Um, you, you are a one man promotion machine. You make your own flyers. You do everything that you have to do in order to get people out to a show. And it's great. And it's something that not many people, uh, really take to heart. You know, a lot of people just get a gig and they go and play and, you know, they don't understand that in order to get any kind of following, in order to get people to listen to your music, you kind of have to let them know that you're there. Well, it's a lot of fun and, uh, I want to try to convey that. Mm-hmm. I, want, I want to try to bring people in, uh, get up close with them. Yep. I want them to know it's a, a, a time to socialize, uh, kick back, have a few cold ones. Sure. Uh, and uh, a little more relaxed atmosphere, uh, Atmosphere, you know, when uh, the centers play. Uh, yep. You know, we... Uh, uh, try to promote that and everything, and uh, a lot of it has to do too. Is I'm poor, and uh, <laughs> and so uh, I have to make my own flyer. Well, and, yeah, but the the, the fact that you actually go and, through the effort to make yeah. your own flyers from <laughs> scratch, and I mean like old school collage style and stuff uh, like that, it's great, and it's really a design technique that a lot of people have tried to get back to and start to start to bring back about. Well, so, it's because it's uh, I'm not smart enough to use the internet <laughs> and the, uh, you know, Photoshop and all that other stuff. But, uh, you know, you, you do what you can and you, you use the gifts you're given. And yep, that absolutely. Sort of absolutely. And, you know, it's it's great. that The main thing is the fact that you're not afraid to get out there and shake hands and let people know that you have a show coming up. Oh, uh, you know, and I see you all the time outside with the musicians and stuff like that. The one thing that I truly love about Austin Music Rooms is the fact that, as opposed to most places that have the transient musicians in town, and you know, I've I've talked a lot to people. They ask me, you know, why I so chose such a tucked away place for <laughs> Austin Hot Mods, and it was it was not only because I'd met you at Nelson's uh, Barbecue and things like that, and we got along. It was that once I came here and spent a few weeks at the counter and stuff like that, I really saw the fact that as opposed to most of those places where you have a lot of transient musicians and just a few that are in-house, this place is really much more of a community. Like, people literally hang out on the patio and have cigarettes together and just hang out and talk and talk music and stuff like that. And it's it's you've really gone through a great effort to build a community at this location. So tell us a little bit about that and what what Austin Music Rooms is all about. Well, we try to, like you're saying, a community. We pretty much are all working bands or, or aspiring to be working bands, and uh, you know, you get tired of 
practicing in uh, storage spaces, barns, garages, and you want to step up uh, and have a place where you can uh, walk in any time mm -hmm. and plug in and play. Yeah. And uh, all genres, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just uh, we kind of all got the same goal, the same goals. Yep. And, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to, to get to the next level, that next uh, rung on the ladder. Yep. Uh, whatever that is, you know, wherever that takes you, uh, you know, it's just trying to uh, do your best and, you know, for what little time you got left. You know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, and and, and that's just it, you know, trying to trying to be around a community and a people who are like minded, and I think it. I mean, y'all even what I find is great is y'all even have like little mini music festivals here with and like pig roasts and stuff like that. It it is really and truly a family and community atmosphere. It's it's fantastic, and I love it, mm -hmm. and it's it's hard to find that. Uh, in this industry, anywhere that fosters that and allows that to build, you know, most of the places are, you know, just, hey, give me your money and, you know, don't bug the dude next to you. Wow. And it's, uh, I find it, I suppose, very necessary. Uh, it's, it's a different aspect and a different way to look at the music business. And the fact that, yeah, you have to cooperate and collaborate with people and talk to people of all genres about it. Well, the old Austin used to be that way. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, a lot more of a place where uh, musicians, it was a smaller, a smaller group of musicians. And, uh, you know, they, they worked together, they supported each other. And, uh, and that's... Uh, you know, we're in South Austin. Yep. And there's still a few of us left around here. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys, you know, that I look up to uh, that I've been able to, you know, touch base with over the years. And uh, we still got a few left here. And, uh, yep. Well, and it's yeah. great. It's great. You know, I mean, we're... We're not going to name drop or anything. There are no. some pretty, <laughs> there are some pretty heavy hitters that practice yeah. here. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's... And you know, uh, you you happen to bring one of your fantastic friends with you this evening. I'd I'd actually love for you to play us a song this evening. Uh, uh, um, I don't know, maybe something like leaves or then the snow came or something like that something that is specifically okay. rusty brown if you can treat us to a number okay well let's see what i got here all right well first off introduce us to your friend this is uh, my guitar honey and i have four guitars and uh, she's just one of them yeah and um uh, i have uh honey baby hottie and woody woody's the only guy yeah He's my electric guitar. All right. And uh, Hottie is uh, real pretty. Uh, Baby is the first guitar. Big Shot Bob gave me that guitar. Oh, wow. And uh, this is one that I bought from uh, Bob Williams. And uh, let me make sure I'm in tune. I checked it while ago. That sounds decent enough. I think that'll work. For a classical. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to play for us here, Rusty? Well, there's... Uh, I, I got a couple in mind. And, uh, both are about towns. Okay. That I used to live in, Chris. Uh, All right. One is about Terrell, Texas. Okay. East of Dallas. It's a small town. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of East Texas towns. Uh you know, the kids get together and have their own parties, and they cruise up and down the streets uh, looking for the parties. Yeah. And, uh, excuse me, of course, they're avoiding the uh, police and uh, the parents and the teachers. And uh, it's just called uh, Saturday Night on Moore Avenue. All right.
party Saturday night That song. That is an absolutely <laughs> Americana song about every teenager's life. You know, it, it, just about. I mean, not every teenager goes out and parties and stuff like that. But you know, you're always trying to find out what's happening, what's happening on the strip. You know, my family is from a tiny little town called Mamu, Louisiana, and they used to do what's it, pulling rips and. Literally, the only thing to do was drive up and down the main drag, go and sit in the parking lot of the car wash, and then go back. And then go back to the car wash a few minutes later. You know, I mean, there's literally a red light in the town. It's that small. But that's what they do. You know, they drive up and down till they find each other and figure out what's going on. That's that's what small town life is like. And you can change the name from Moore Avenue to Center Street to... yeah. Uh, whatever just switch yep. that name and yeah and fly. bam you're right there in the town that you're in yeah. exactly it's it's an amazing thing it so is. well do you have one more for us before we I take got, out i got one uh for my friends in uh crusty view all right it's a new one it's called mountain town oh yeah it's a good one and uh uh it's about my life up there uh I always talk about it. I know everybody here gets tired of hearing me talk about Colorado. <laughs> and when I'm in Colorado, they get tired of hearing me talk about Austin. Yep. So it's a it's a problem I have. I love two ladies. Yeah, it's hard. And uh, But I'm, I'm really lucky I can go back and forth with them. And uh, it's just called uh, Mountain Town. What I pulled in, the streets were made of dirt. Went to go cheevers and got a beer. Got a place to live and a part time job. 
Washing dishes and cleaning glasses clear In a mountain town In a mountain town In a mountain town Watch the sunset, the night was clear In a mountain town In a mountain town That's where I'm bound In a mountain town Met a girl out on the street She stole my heart and stole my weed <laughs> And that is such a great song. It really <laughs> is. It it describes what it is like for you to be living there and how much you miss it. It's it's absolutely amazing. And I, I talk with you all the time about it, uh, being someone who actually lived up north and lived in the snow and loved it coming from Texas my whole life, you know, and not really seeing snow. People are like, oh, you're crazy. Like I was talking to someone up in Maine today, and they're like, oh, we just got almost three feet. And I'm like, oh, man, I miss that. Like you are nuts, man. You're They're getting crazy. hit hard. Over yeah, there. it's getting it's getting pretty rough for him. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. It's like 68 degrees and beautiful. There's not a cloud in the sky. I don't know. It's supposed to be 80 tomorrow. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's in, it's the middle of February. I think I'm or going, middle of January. Honestly, rather. I, I think I won't swim it tomorrow. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is possible in the winter time in Texas. I'm I have worn shorts on Christmas many, many times. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Rusty, thank you so much for coming in. Where can people find out about Austin Music Rooms? Well, we're uh, on the internet under austinmusicrooms.com. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, we kind of have a waiting list most of the time to get in here. We're a monthly lockout, 24-7, 365. Yep. Uh, we've been here now for going on a decade. We've kind of... Somewhat under the radar, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm available. I live on site yep. when I'm not playing music. and uh, Just look us up and give me a call. Absolutely. And when is it? Do you have a show coming up or anything like that? Uh, I know see. I know you do some solo work and yeah, things like uh, that as well. So. I'm uh, available for shows, but right now the centers are... Are working on some new songs. Okay, and, uh, great. Uh, I'm actually going to start doing a lot of solos. Well, fantastic, too. fantastic. Okay. Well, you're always welcome here anytime that you can make it. Once All again, right. everybody, our good friend Rusty Brown from Austin Music Rooms Thanks, and from Chris. the Centers of Thank Attention, you very much. and. While you're on the internet and listening to this, please, please go to top. 
talkingsoundshow.com. That's www.talkingsoundshow.com. There you can find all of the audio feeds, the video feeds. Everything is absolutely free. There's no membership required to get it. Uh, you can also get all of the tech articles, all of the major announcements from major manufacturers, what's coming out, what's new in the industry. Uh, you can also visit our donate page while you're there. Please visit us on Patreon. We have a few different uh, fundraisers that are going on right now. The first one is for the upcoming Talking Sound app where you can get everything right there in your pocket. Uh, we're also going to have the Talking Sound uh we have the gear fundraiser so that we can get new tech and everything else for the show, uh, new cameras, all kinds of stuff to maintain uh, the show and the, the server and everything else. So please visit us online. Also check us out on SoundCloud. That is www.soundcloud.com forward slash talking sound. Uh, once again, I am Chris Jordan, your host for the Talking Sound Podcast. Until next time, everybody, please keep reaching for 11. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Have a great day. This is Talking Sound.